Okay. Uh, are we on? Yes. Okay, guys, so the last attack from the turtle position um, is a old judo arm bar, and every judo player knows this, and the difference is in judo you have to be fast because the referee is going to give you three seconds of continuous attacking. If you're not continuously attacking in three seconds, they're going to stand you back up. So therefore, it has to be relatively fast and dynamic. Great arm bar. Every judo guy knows this arm bar from the turtle position. The difference between the Olympic gold medal is that he's done it like a thousand times and everything's in its place. Everything's super tight and he's super fast at it. So same thing, hip to hip. I'm here attacking him. My hand goes underneath, right? And I feed, I'm trying to feed the lapel, but it doesn't work because he's protecting himself. So I grab his wrist. All right, as I grab his wrist, I do want to break his posture down. So by pulling it in, I break his posture down. Now see how his shoulder's crumbling this way? All right, so now I'm gonna attack the arm. For me to attack the arm, I place my hand and my forehead on the ground, and my entire body is across his shoulder. So, forehead on the ground, hand, uh, hand on the ground. You don't wanna put the top part of your head on the mat, because it can lead to injury on your neck, especially if he like does something really dynamic. So, forehead and hand on the, on the mat. All right, as that happens, my shin, my knee goes all the way through the other side. Notice that my foot is still where it belongs, on his back. Only my knee went through. At this stage, you have some room to start to play. So what I do is I grab my lapel and I try to feed the arm bar. All right, so I fed the arm bar here. So with my hand on the ground, I'm gonna bring this leg underneath his face. To do that, it's a little bit difficult. All right, sometimes you can push on his face and then get your leg over. The easiest way is with your forehead on the ground, I'm gonna pinch his head. See how my leg goes right there? Even with Adam keeping his head on the ground, if I start to pinch, it puts pressure on his neck and it pops up. As soon as it pops up, I look that way and I roll. As soon as I roll, I sit up and attack. All right, keep your arm bar with your shin on his rib cage. If you feel like he's doing the escape, then that's where you transfer this arm immediately to this hip. All right, there's pros and cons to this type of arm bar right here. We'll go over that later. But a lot of times if you're fast and the arm's already stretched out, even with him trying to escape, it's possible for you to drag the arm that way and arm bar him. But remember, pinch your knees. That's ultimately the most important part. Let's do that one more time. So I'm here, turtle position, hip to hip pressure, never on my knees, always make it carry my weight. I, let's move this way. All right, hip to hip, make him carry my weight. I'm trying the chokes, I grab the wrist. As soon as I grab the wrist, forearm and hand, and look, my shin goes through. When my shin goes through, I put weight on his back. Now I'm gonna pinch his head, it pops up. As soon as it pops up, I roll, I sit up, and I hug. Don't let go of his arm. Here, the arm that originally was on his elbow, I still have it, and there's my arm bar, all right? By controlling his elbow with this hand, I'm able to pinch and arm. 